I've been waiting such a long time to make this video. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Sam. I'm a romance author based in the UK. I have two books out. The Summer House in Santorini came out in 2019 and its sequel, The Summer Wedding in Santorini, came out earlier this year, March 2023. And for those of you that have been around the channel, you will know that I've been working on what's called Project Gilbert. I worked on it for about a year and there was a lot of ups and downs with that. At first it was going to be a standalone, then it was going to be a trilogy, then it was going to be a standalone again. And this summer I had a draft in front of my publisher and they had a look at it and they said something that I knew in that moment to be true. It was still a bit disappointing, but I knew that it was the right thing, which is this is not the right moment for this story. We all still really want to tell that story. It will come in the future, but now is just not the right moment. So instead we started working on a new idea. Something that was based on an idea that I had years ago but they added a lot of new ideas to. And when I tell you that I've never written an outline so quickly in my life, me and this story and these characters, we had whatever the author slash idea version of Love at First Sight is. Like Love at First Keystroke or something like that. It was just absolute kismet. I was obsessed. And on the 1st of September, we signed contracts and I immediately started working on this project. I knew I had a very tight deadline to write this book. My delivery date from the time I signed contracts has been the 1st of January, so four months. And I was a little bit nervous about that, but I knew that there was something really special in this idea and I was feeling so motivated. And when I tell you it's the 6th of November, so just over two months in, and I have written more than two thirds of this book. Yeah, it's been incredible. And that includes editing along the way a lot of the stuff that I've been working on. My publisher seen the beginning of it and they love it and they're really excited about it and I am so excited too. I want to tell you the title of this book and when it's coming out but before I do that I want to tell you a little bit about it because it's very different from my previous books and I think if I don't tell you a little bit about it the title's not quite gonna land so I gotta get you in the mood first. <laughs> the title's the punchline we gotta get to the setup. My first two books The Summer House and Summer Wedding in Santorini are emotional holiday romances. They are not rom-coms. They are beach read holiday romances and I love them. They're, I'm very proud of them. This book is very different. It is truly a rom-com. It's always weird to say like I wrote something funny <laughs> because humor is obviously so subjective but everyone that I've showed anything to has found it funny including my publishers so I feel pretty confident saying this is a true rom-com. It's a much different voice. It's much more cynical and sardonic and witty. It is a dual POV as well and this book is also inherently nerdy. And that is because it is about two friends named Morgan and Jack who play Dungeons and Dragons together every week. Now Dungeons and Dragons is not the central focus of the book, do not worry. It is still very much a romance really finds its way into the story in a lot of different ways because Morgan and Jack sort of team up over the summer to add a little bit more adventure into their real lives. They play these characters on the table who are so brave and interesting and those characters get their moment on the page as well, though very small moments. Their real lives don't really mirror that, so they team up to do that and this includes some bookish exploits, some outdoorsy stuff, and even going to the US to go to a renaissance fair. If you don't know what that is, definitely look it up because one, it's amazing, and two, it is a big focus of this book. So I'll be talking a lot more about Ren Fairs in the coming weeks. In fact, later this week, I'm actually flying home to North Carolina to go to my local Ren Fair. So if you look that up, it'll give you a really good sense of the vibe of this book. So it's very funny, it's a little bit nerdy, and it is true dual point of view. Both Jack and Morgan get equal page time. And that's not without his challenges. I did have uh, another perspective in my first two books, just one scene in the first book and then a few scenes in the second book, but it was still very much Anna's story and Anna's point of view that was focused on, whereas this is a true dual POV story. So now that you know a little bit about the book, now that I've done the setup, let's get to the punchline, shall we? So my third book is going to be called You've Got Chainmail. For those of you who might not be familiar, chainmail is a type of armor, but this sort of shared nerdery, and of course there being a reference there too, You've Got Mail, the film starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. This is not a retelling of You've Got Mail. There are a couple of shared elements, but it is definitely not a retelling. It's important to me that you know that. I don't want anyone to go in expecting that. But really, we just wanted something that would reflect a really fun, warm, lighthearted romance that maybe is a little bit nerdy at times. And I think You've Got Chainmail 
hits the nail on the head. I'm really excited about that. It made my husband laugh out loud, which is saying something because he's quite the stoic. And we have a pub date for this book. Now I will give a huge caveat and say tentative pub date. Hear me when I say tentative. There are so many things at this stage. I haven't even finished the book. So there are so many things that could push the pub date back. But according to the pre-order link that is now live, and yes, of course, I'll put it in the description, the pub date is going to be the 15th of August, 2024. I know for a fact this is going to be available in the US and in the UK. If you are from any other country and you want to know if it's going to be available for you, please let me know in the comments and I will check with my publisher just for you. It's not going to be available in any other languages as far as I know for pub day, but if you want it in your language, again, let me know in the comments. I'm so excited about this. I am so proud of this book. I cannot wait for it to be out in the world and to be able to share it with you. But first I got to figure out how it ends. So if you're not already, be sure to hit subscribe because I've got a lot of behind the scenes writing content of me writing and finishing You've Got Chainmail. Behind the scenes of what it's like to be an author. You'll get to see all of my editing process, all of the marketing that I'm doing. And also I'm toying with the idea of like even just breaking down my contract for people because sometimes contracts for publishing deals can be a little bit of a mystery. So let me know in the comments if you want to know more about how those contracts are structured, what royalties are like, that sort of thing. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to read You've Got Chainmail. I will be the first one to do it because I'm excited to give it to you. Thank you so, so much for watching and for being along for the ride with me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.